Hello everyone, it is the N Squared Sports here, and we're going to be talking about uh, um, we're going to be talking about the NBA and the potential start. Um, during the last couple of weeks, we've had a lot of players come out, and it's sort of been this big disagreement of yeah. some players are just don't want to play. Um, some players are really adamant of like we, we just want to play. Um, yeah, and it it has a lot to do with a lot of the, the racial tensions that we're dealing with right now, and. Um, it's just an interesting dynamic. Of course, I want sports back. He wants Nick wants yeah. sports back. Uh, most people want sports back. But we want to be able to make videos because right now we're struggling. With yeah. Topics. So, um, <laughs> yes. So Nick, uh, let me hear your general opinion on this. All. Yeah, it's crazy because this this 2020 this year has been wild so far. Just with we thought with the coronavirus was gonna mess the NBA schedule up, and now it just got even worse with mm -hmm. all this racial injustice stuff going on which i'm not going to talk about politics in this video or what i believe but like you know it's happening and it's real and nba players are voicing their opinions and which is fine but guys like kyrie irving and dwight howard have come out and they've said hey we don't want to play we think it's an important time to you know focus on this matter instead of playing basketball and then you got have guys like austin rivers and other people like that who have said that's not gonna not playing basketball isn't gonna do anything like it like just because we're playing basketball doesn't mean we can mm -hmm. still focus on the stuff going on in the world like austin Rivers said hey how about we donate our salary a part of our salary to like funds or something mm -hmm. to go on with that so i'm not gonna you know opinionate on that kind of like give my opinion on it but just saying that's happening um it's kind of interesting just players wanting different things and it's kind of weird not only with the coronavirus and how the safety part of it but also about just not wanting to play for other reasons so it's it's an interesting sort of dynamic that's going on right now um i will say if you i'd encourage people that are watching this um to really go look at austin rivers comments i yeah. loved his comments yeah um i thought they were pretty applicable and i the one thing that i I really sort of agreed with is that um, there's, there's two main things is that a lot of players this is their actual living yeah and some players aren't getting the mega contracts that Kyrie's getting of those I don't even know how much he's make, making to be honest I don't know probably uh, probably like 16 to 20 a year on top of lot. his shoe deals <laughs> on top yeah on top of his shoe deals we have Austin Rivers, who was a vast majority of players making a veteran minimum. I know. Um, and you can sit here and say that's still a lot of money. Yes, but that money goes quickly, to be honest, especially during these times. Um, and a lot of these guys, they are providing for their family. Um, and there's a lot of these guys are actually, like, they're committed to supporting their community as well. That's money that goes, that money does go quickly. Um, so, with that being said, it, to me, it seems like the players that don't really have that great of a chance seem to be the ones that aren't, or that are like, yeah, I'm not going to play. Yeah, I mean, Kyrie knows that Katie's not coming back. He said that. Uh -huh. Like, why even? Like, they're not going to make it anywhere. Like, you don't hear, hear, like, LeBron or James Harden or Anthony Davis or Kawhi. Like, none of them are coming mm -hmm. out saying they, they want to play because they, they know they have a chance. Mm-hmm. Guys like Kyrie, but Dwight Howard is one who his team definitely has a chance. Uh, so some people, it's just their opinion that they don't want to play. I just looked up Kyrie Irving's uh, contract, and wow, was I wrong? He's making about thirty to thirty-five million a year. So <laughs> I was wrong on that, um, but a double basically what I said. But um, yeah, he's making a lot, and you know, guys like Kyrie, at least like you can still play and give up your salary like not all of it necessarily but like out of your 30 mil like just even giving three or four million mm -hmm. away is not going to kill you like you've won a title you have a shoe deal like guys like austin rivers who of course is he's pretty well set because of his dad being a coach and just the family history he's made a lot of money and he has he's kind of born into it so he's okay too but he is making a veteran minimum and you have other guys that you know have always been that kind of veteran mm -hmm. minimum player that isn't making a lot and it's like i feel like the guys who make less are more willing to give away stuff than the guys who are way up 
and it's it's kind of sad. Anyway, that's not the point of the video. The video is kind of whether we what we think about all the comments by people, and why or uh, do we think the NBA will do anything? Do we think um, there's a chance it doesn't happen this year? Like we just kind of you know call it off because of everybody. And my opinion, real quick, I'll go is. Um, I don't think it's going to change anything. I think Adam Silver is set on his kind of ideas. Like they've already ma mapped out hotels of where everybody's going to stay. They have safety precautions. They've already made a, a period of time to where you can sign free agents. Like they have it all planned out. Kyrie Irving's comments is not going to change the NBA. Like you think Kyrie Irving making $35 million a year is a lot. The NBA is makes a lot more than that. So I don't think Curry Irving is going to make that huge of a difference whether he says he wants to start his own league. That's not going to happen. He does not, no way he has the money for that. Um, and the NBA is just not going to deal with it. Like if you, they've already said like if you don't want to play then this is the date you need to tell us by and we're going to move forward with it. Mm, I didn't know that they said that. Yeah. yeah, they've said if you don't want to play, I think it might be June 30th. I think that might be the day. Mm. If you don't want to play, you have to tell the NBA by this time and then they'll just not have you on okay. your team for for the playoffs so mm. um so yeah that's kind of what it is right now yeah um i think it's it's gonna be interesting i don't think there'll be major changes um i could see a day shift a day a yeah. one or two day shift to be honest um i could also see them changing how they the funding or maybe you know there is some type of revenue mm -hmm. that goes into charities i could definitely see that happening um I'm a lot more concerned about it, to be honest, than you are. Okay. Um, I don't think it's out of the realm that it doesn't happen. Just, I don't want to, you know, get political, but Corona has been spiking up back again. It is. In yeah. Florida and Texas. And I think that's something that I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on. Um, I, if that deadline hits and we see a lot of players, I would see the NBA probably backing out. Um, because yeah. it's an official date that you're saying that they need to tell, mm -hmm. I could see, you know, we get a list of, and say we get a list of like 10, 12 big names. I could see the NBA going, oh crap. Yeah. We're in a sticky situation. Do we do this and give the championship team an asterisk by their name? Or do we just listen to them and maybe try postponing a little bit? Do we just stop the season? Gosh. I would definitely not postpone it. If you're going to cancel it, just cancel it. Mm. Because at this point, you're already moving the draft back way, mm. like, a, a lot. You're moving the next season back a lot. Like, if you're going to cancel it, just cancel it, and let's go right into the draft mm. and try to get it back on schedule. Because at this point, it's not too late if you did cancel it to make it back on schedule. Because the NBA draft is usually, I think, the first or second or third week in July, somewhere around middle of July, mm. I'm pretty sure, when the draft usually is which could still happen if you decided to cancel the season. But I don't think it'll happen because I don't think there's that many big names out there because you've, you've heard of Kyrie and Dwight Howard. Name another big name that has come out and said anything about it because you have it because there's just, I don't think there's as Damian many. Lillard has said stuff. He did? I think so. Okay, well, there's not a lot. <laughs> there's, there's not a lot of big names who have said, and just because they say something about it doesn't mean when it's, time to say okay mm -hmm. let's play or let's not i think a lot of people will be like okay we'll just we'll play unless corona really gets super bad like if if they had another coronavirus case in the nba that would probably do that would probably do something if somebody in the mm -hmm. nba had got, like got it especially a playoff team mm -hmm. then that might cause an issue but i mean there's ways around it like i mean you know i both of us have been out in the world and we haven't caught it like there's a lot of things that there's a lot of cases out there but I, but then again there's a lot of safety precautions you can take to still be safe and play and the nba is going to have that those restrictions They'll definitely have that yeah and um for the games and i know a lot of players have already been complaining about the restrictions yeah. that are that is being enforced on them um, yeah. but they're still getting paid um so it's going to be interesting to see. I think the next week is really going to be a big, really until we get to July, is going to be a big revealing. And if yeah. nothing really happens, besides that corona case, that would be the only thing that would, I think, shake up the NBA. Yeah. 
I think uh, it's it's gonna be it's gonna happen. Um, but you know, keep an open eye. Um, it's gonna be interesting. So yeah, yeah. thank y'all for watching this video. Um, this is NBA. Uh, will it come back? Um, will it not? Let us know in the comments. Uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be in the description. And we will talk to you later. Bye.